Hey, hey, hey. I know it's super dark outside. Hopefully you can see some part of me. But today's Friday the 13th, and I thought what better way to spend Friday the 13th than outside checking out the meteor shower. Do you know what was even going on? There's a link down here to the story where I found it. Uh, they said yesterday was supposed to be the big night to see everything, but uh, it's supposed to go on through next week. So if you have a second, turn off the computer, go outside, and look up. You might like what you see. Hey, happy Friday. So this week we're talking about typical attractions for the LGBTQ community, and if there are any. Um, I think a great term to use here is non-conventional beauty, because I'm really kind of tired of a certain type of beauty being shoved down our throats by, you know, the media or the community or whatnot. I think fads come and go, but everyone's individual, right? So that's pretty much the response you're going to get from anyone who has um, grown or evolved or figured out what they liked. Uh, it's individual. Attraction is individual. Part of it is chemical. So. I don't think anything could be across the board when you're dealing with chemical attraction. Perfect example. I have a friend who only likes big white guys. That, that's all he dates. It's like, no, his boyfriends don't look like Abercrombie models, but he's excited about that. You know? And, and most people probably wouldn't understand that. They probably wouldn't be attracted to the guys he's attracted to. But he's all about it. So I say more power to him. And more power to you. Find somebody you like. Stick with it. Maybe you don't have a, maybe you don't have a specific type. You know, there are a lot of people that just find people they're interested in, and one may not look like the other, or they all may look the same. It really doesn't matter. Me, I guess you could say uh, I'm attracted to stereotypical beauty. I just happens to be my where my interests are, but I don't like it because it's stereotypical. It's just what I happen to like. But then again, you could say the people who date me are interested in stereotypical beauty. But everyone's a lot more than uh, what meets the eye, right? Obviously. My case is a little bit different, but you know what I mean. So maybe the person you're dating is, um, is stereotypical in looks, but uh, maybe they're completely different. I don't know. I don't think that uh, just because someone is attractive and Vogue says they're attractive, that they can't be unique. You know? So don't discredit them. If you find someone who is typical or typically attractive, you know, don't, don't immediately count them out because you might be missing something a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? It's really all I, uh, really all I have to say about that. It's back to school, though. Next week for me, Monday. You guys starting school soon? What classes are you taking? Anything like really crazy interesting? I'm so ready to be done. So ready. I'm this close. And I feel like I've been in school forever. Mary B, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. I hope Hawaii was amazing, Jess. Um, check out their videos if you haven't already seen them. Lori, congrats on the move. And, uh, and your new digs with the girl. I hope everything's going super well. I uh, can't wait to check you guys out in New York. AJ, ordained minister? What? I think our uh, our credibility level just went up like 10 points. Definitely riding those coattails. <laughs> and Michelle, as always, give your dad a big hello for me. I hope everything's going well in New York. I still have yet to meet the girlfriend, and that will change eventually. I miss you guys. I hope everybody else has a great Friday and a happy weekend. Check you later. Peace.